shoes away. Liam is kicking it in the sandbox. So let's get to it. I'm going to put on some music and then I'm going to put the rest of the video on a, on a soundtrack as well. So, so I don't get in trouble with my music and my videos. Um, I'm piped up on coffee and I know I shouldn't be drinking coffee. So I've been going back and forth from tea to blacker and blacker coffee, to no coffee, and anyway, since vacation, Chris is down <laughs> 10 pounds, and I'm down five.
super top secret diet program that I'm not even going to sell it to you. That's right. It's not $29 to learn the secret. It's not $19, not $100. You got fat, you got protein, and you got carbohydrates, right? Now, it's not about some special ratio because I'm going to tell you what you need. As an athlete, you need fat. You need protein, right? But also, you probably need carbohydrates too, especially if you're a high output athlete. And I'm not going to get into the science. You need all three, basically. That's why they're on this earth. So the diet isn't what you eat. There isn't no special right food. It's what you don't eat. That's right. You don't eat more than you need. I know that sounds crazy. You eat fat, you eat protein, you eat carbohydrates. I'm having salmon, rice, and broccoli. I'm just not having too much. That's how you lose weight. It's crazy. I get these people that tell me, Coach, I don't understand. I'm eating all the food you told me, you know? I had six ounces of almonds. I had two avocados. And then I had three fucking turkey breasts. And I'm like, bro, do you know what? Yeah, it's good fat. But do you have any idea how much fat is in a fucking avocado? And you ate two of them while you were sitting in front of your computer? You're not going to burn those calories. I don't care if they're good for you. Doesn't matter. Look. I don't know where it is. My MCT oil right here. Right, everybody that puts this in their coffee because it's supposed to be great brain food, right? Because they're on their keto diet. A serving of MCT oil is one fucking tablespoon and that's 130 calories. I see people pour this shit in and then they throw in a scoop of butter, right? Blend it up with some fucking heavy cream and they think they're on a diet. Well, you... Your coffee better be your fucking meal because you just had like 600 calories right there in your cup of coffee. Easily, maybe even more. So that's my diet secret. I'm not saying don't use MCT oil. I'm not saying don't eat rice. I'm saying don't eat more than you need to to survive. If you're not hungry when you're trying to lose weight, then there's a problem. You're going to be hungry because you're eating less than you're used to. Crazy, I know. You can cut it. Guys, Chris just challenged me, but I want this on video so that everybody knows yeah, okay, what's here's, happening. Here's my point. He said Look that at this it's tub a of these tub of shitty apples. fucking little teeny horse apples that Brittany got. Well, I was thinking about your diet. Well, they're, yeah, I mean, they're, they're small. Mini. They're like the size of fucking plums. I bet you'll eat them. No, because they're gross. Those apples are gross. Okay, well. You Chris, are just not Chris an just apple said, connoisseur. Well, fast forward. I said, hang on, I said this container wait. of apples has a 0% chance of being fucking eaten before they go bad in our house. So why would you buy them? Uh, they're going to sit on the counter for two weeks. Uh, are you they're avoiding gonna thrown, when you... They're going to get thrown in that trash can. That is what is going to happen. And uh, what, what was the other thing I'm going to get on camera? If you eat all those apples before they go bad, mm -hmm. Not throw them in the garbage when I'm not looking, Brittany, because I know challenge. you're a church term. I give you a hundred bucks. I give you a hundred dollars. But what you guys didn't know is Brittany is a cheater. It's just like our run the other day when I told her I'd give her a hundred dollars if she beat me. So what happened? She faked an injury. You didn't give me 50 bucks either. She faked an injury, so I walked with her, oh, I don't know, to about 100 feet from the fucking... It was the not 100 feet. And then she took off running. This is this is the stuff that he makes up so that he doesn't pay up. Can you believe it? 
I stopped and waited for her. I'm like, he's laughing. What? I'm laughing because this is truthful. <laughs> this is what happened. Goodbye. Say bye, YouTube family. Bye, YouTube family.